Okay, picture this, you're standing in front of a temple tower in India that's taller than a 20-story building. It's been there for 400 years. Storms have hit it, earthquakes have shaken it, but it's still standing. Perfect. Untouched. How? What's the secret? Let me tell you about the Meenakshi Temple. Its tallest tower is 52 meters, built in the 1600s. No steel, no cement, just stone. And guess what? In 500 years not one earthquake has knocked it down. Scientists from top universities studied it and found something crazy. These towers aren't rigid, they dance during quakes. The stones shift, then settle back, like a puzzle that fixes itself. How did people 400 years ago know how to do that? But wait, there's more. Walk inside one of these temples, feel that? Some people say the air tingles. Researchers measured the magnetic fields near the central shrine. Know what they found? The energy there is thousands of times stronger than normal. They found copper plates buried underground, special metal alloys in the bells, like the whole place is a giant battery. Charging what? Nobody fully knows. Now here's the thing, modern architects are copying these ancient designs, they're using the same stacking trick to build earthquake-proof buildings. Even NASA's looking at how temple sounds and shapes might help in space stations. But the biggest mystery? Every 12 years priests perform a ritual at these temples, they say it are charges the energy. What are they really doing? Is it science we've forgotten? I'll tell you this, our ancestors weren't just building temples, they were building machines, and we're only starting to figure them out. If you want to know what happens next, and why this changes how we see history, hit subscribe, tap that bell. Because in part 2, we're going inside one of these temples with scientists to measure what's really happening. You don't want to miss this. Oh, and if you've ever felt curious about old places, hit like. Share this with someone who loves mysteries because this, this is just the beginning.